What is the meaning of God's commandments in your life? A blessed day to all. This is a reflection for the day. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. St. Lawrence of Rome lived from the year 225 A.D. until his martyrdom on 258 A.D. He was one of seven deacons under Pope St. Sixtus II who were in charge of giving help to the poor and the needy. One day, some troublemakers who did not like Christians decided to kill the Pope and took him away for execution. Lawrence followed, weeping, and asked, Father, where are you going without your deacon? The Pope answered, I am not leaving you, my son. In three days, you will follow me. Full of joy, Lawrence gave to the poor the rest of the money he had with him. He even sold expensive church vessels so he would have more money to give away. The prefect of Rome, who was a greedy man, thought the church had a great fortune hidden away that allows it to give so much to the poor. He ordered Lawrence to bring the church's treasure to him. The saint said he would in three days. He went through the city and gathered together all the poor and sick people supported by the church. He showed them to the prefect and said, These people are the church's treasure. The prefect was furious. In his anger, he ordered that Lawrence be killed slowly so he would suffer more. The saint was tied on top of an iron grill over a slow fire that roasted him. God gave him so much strength and joy that Lawrence joked with the judge, saying, Turn me over. Before he died, he prayed that the city of Rome might be converted to Jesus and that the Catholic faith would spread all over the world. Lawrence died on August 10, 258. He is the patron saint of school children, poor people, cooks, and comedians, to name but a few. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus declares that He is the fulfillment of the law given by God through Moses and the prophets. In contradistinction to the conclusions of the Pharisees about what they deemed to be His violations of the Mosaic law. But in reality, Jesus, through his actions, is demonstrating the paramount importance that God gave the law. Everything that he ordained through Israel shall be fulfilled, and Jesus is its ultimate fulfillment. Logically, there are two ways to fulfill the law. By doing everything that is asked, or by completing that which is missing. The law of the Old Testament, as interpreted by the religious leaders of Israel, was made sterile by the lack of love, mercy, and compassion. Jesus fills in the blanks within the old precepts of the law and made it complete by the new commandment of love, to love one another as He has loved us. The law of love was Jesus' way of bringing humanity to where all the precepts of the old law should end, in loving Him above all things. The law of love fulfills all of God's commandments. It extends to all created beings in the universe. No one is outside this law. Not even the smallest part of creation escapes its call. Jesus' words about the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter of the law coming to pass speaks to us of the efficacy of the law of love. Sins committed against the old law, exemplified in the Ten Commandments, are grave transgressions, but they are easy to define 
manifested as they are to external acts of a person. But the commandments of Jesus against sins like excessive anger and lust in the heart or the commandment to forgive our enemies have more subtle expressions, thus more difficult to obey. They require interior cleansing brought about by an enlightened understanding of and the presence in our hearts of divine love. May we be able to emulate St. Lawrence, who, having love as the motivation of his actions, helped him not only make it to heaven, but also won him a greater share in God's happiness and glory. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, thank you for this time of prayer. Do not let me be content simply to do the minimum that my faith asks of me. Please do not let me be content in simply avoiding grave sin, but to live the fullness of the law of charity. This I ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless couples for Christ and our Catholic faith.